Welcome to PCL. Today we're talking about the Cube Tire Inflator. It's a nice, compact and innovative tire inflator capable of inflation up to 12 bar or 174 psi. It comes with three inflation modes. You've got standard inflation mode, then you've then got tire shop mode for bead seating and over pressure. We've then got nitrogen purge mode so you can convert your normal air in your tyres, providing you've got a nitrogen generator, and you can convert it into a higher purity of nitrogen. The Cube is an indoor unit, mainly designed for workshop and automotive tyre shop use. Nice compact design with visual aids to help you when inflation is finished. So during the end of the inflation process, once the tyre pressure is reached, the display will, will show end, you'll hear an audible beep, and you'll see the red light on top flash. That will happen for as long as the tyre valve connector is still connected to the tyre. Once you remove it, the display will go back to the default tyre pressure and then you can go and inflate the next tyre. It also comes in a different variant with an extra four preset buttons, P1, P2, P3 and P4. So you can actually save and then select the most commonly used tyre pressures so it makes it more efficient and quicker to use in the garage workshop. So power the cube on, take a few moments during startup and it will go onto the default pressure screen. By standard, it is in the default mode, so either inflation or deflation. So we're going to set the inflator down to 30 psi and then connect the hose onto the tyre. The inflator will start automatically if there's more than 4 psi in the tyre, otherwise you just need to press the flat tyre button to engage start. To change modes, power the inflator off and power back on. During startup, when PCL is shown on display, immediately press the flat tyre button. The display L0 will appear. Press the flat tyre button to enter. The display app will be shown. Press the flat tyre once more. The letters STD will show up, indicating standard mode, and just use the plus or minus buttons to change mode. Now press the fourth button two times to escape the menu and the unit will reboot. Now that the unit's rebooted, it's now in the tire shop mode, so we can apply overpressure setting. So we can seat the bead on the tire. So we're gonna press the fourth button once. It's gonna flash OPS and a value. We're gonna set that value to 20 PSI with the plus button. And then once we've got to 20 PSI, press the flat tire button to save it and now select the desired tyre pressure on screen. So OPS mode or tyre shop mode only works when the tyre is in a flat or new state, so the pressure must be below 4 psi, and then connect the hose to it, press the flat tyre button to start the inflation procedure, and what you're going to see now is the inflator go up to 50 psi, and it's going to automatically deflate back down to the intended target pressure of 30 psi. Once inflation is finished, the unit will display end, you'll hear an audible beep and you'll also see the red light flash on top. So to engage nitrogen mode, again power the unit off and power back on. In this case, we'll press the plus button until N2P is shown on screen. This indicates nitrogen purge mode. Press the flat tire button to save N2P and then press the fourth button two times and the unit will reboot. Now the system is rebooted. Select your desired target pressure on screen. In this case, 30 PSI. 
and then you've got two options. You've got the flat tyre button, which in this case is just for nitrogen top up. So if your if your tyre is already inflated with nitrogen, just press the flat tyre button. If you want to convert your normal air in your tyre to nitrogen, press the fourth button with the two arrows, and it'll start the purge procedure. So what will happen now? The inflator will deflate to a low level pressure limit, and then it's going to convert or insert nitrogen from your nitrogen supply up to the intended target pressure and then it will go back down and do one purge or up to a maximum of five purges depending on your setting.